Good morning guys It's the morning of day 3 A bit of a rough night last night with the rain and the wind inside the tent um, It was quite noisy but I say I can sleep through anything and yeah I got in my good uh, I think it was 8 hours or so of sleep but uh, very good rains last night um, so the park is very wet this morning had to um, take down the tent and uh, make a quick coffee and I also had to collect the exit permit um, to make sure I can get out of the gate so what I'm going to do this morning is just go up to um, the Royplatz loop and then use the link road I used yesterday to get back down to the main gate um, hopefully we'll see some good sightings we're trying to get the mountain zebras closer but so far it's uh, mostly been distant uh, sightings um, and then yeah any new birds that we get we'll take as well added three yesterday so that was a good day given that there's hardly any expectations um, so for you know birding it's uh, really good when you adding so many birds so so quickly okay cool gonna concentrate on the driving and the birding and the sightings um, and we'll check in as we go through the day once I leave the park uh, then I've got a four-hour drive almost to hello guys bye hi Richard <laughs> Cheers. So those were um, two of the um, other guests who actually watched uh, my lion's head video. So Hans and his uh, wife from Netherlands, shout out if you see this, please comment. <laughs> um, so they say uh, I uh, am YouTube famous, but yeah, that uh, lion's head video is uh, getting some good views um, by hiking up to to the lion's head. Um, so yeah, I was I was saying um, I have uh, a four-hour drive um, via Port Elizabeth to Nature's Valley. Um, I think the plans for this afternoon is to check in and then see if I can't get into the Nature's Valley town itself uh, the beach is very nice um, there I dunked my drone in the water the last time I was there so um, hopefully I don't do it again but yeah uh, nice morning drive ahead and then a little bit of a long transit to get to the next uh, overnight stop
Hey guys, so managed to find one of the female lions. She's just in the long grass, so getting photos is a bit problematic. But a good sighting nonetheless, so we did find the lions after all. Um, took us yeah one two three drives to find the lions um, I don't know how many lions they have in the park exactly this female is collared so I'm not sure why she's alone as well unless it's a young male Okay, so we're going to sit on the lion for a little while, hoping that she or he wakes up and moves a little. Okay guys, so the female is not alone. There's actually two other lions with the, her. Oh, there's actually a few more here as well. Um, so it looks like the whole pride is here. Unfortunately, they are flat cats. So the males here could possibly have the black man manes, like the Kalahari lions, because um, they sometimes bring them through from the Kalahari. Um, okay, I'm going to go back and see if I can't see them again. But it's a very difficult sighting because they're all flat and it's cold so there's probably no reason for them to move around. I wore the right shirt for the day today at least. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that in the video. Alright, let me turn around and see if I can't see them again. So you can make out it's a lion there in the bush but other than that they're very really sleepy cats hey guys so a bit of correction on the numbers there it's only three um i was counting the two on the ridge here twice uh, because from the other angle they looked like they were further in so three females i think all of them collared so it does spoil the photos a little bit but they're all sleeping as well so they're not going to move anytime soon so yeah i'm gonna Keep going and then get down to the dam and out the gate. Hey guys, so I'm sitting with the window open, wind blowing in, so it's a bit cold. Should have carried a jacket. Um, new uh, bird uh, to add to the list common uh, quail so i flushed a few when i was driving past so i saw their backs and then i sat and i um, listened for a little while and heard them calling so they've got a very um, quick uh, i think it's a whoop 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 or what would what would what, what, what call uh, that's what it is in the book so yeah uh, one more to add to the list and another new one large bull lark so I think that makes it five um, confirmed new ones with possible one or two extra after audits
Okay guys, it's just going about quarter to 11 and we're going to be heading out now. We'll stop in Craddock, refuel and then it's a four hour drive from from there to the Nature's Valley Camp. So it gets us in Nature's Valley at around 3 o'clock this afternoon just after 3 o'clock, half past 3 by my GPS. Um, so yeah, we're going to take it easy and then uh, try and get there. Hopefully the weather is a bit better there. Hey guys, so my pie woes continue. Um, stopped and there's only Prime steak pies, so pepper steak, I'm not too sure. Prime rib or pepper steak, one of the two. Uh, but anyway, we are refueled and we are off towards Port Elizabeth, just going through Craddock at the moment, a small town in the Eastern Cape. Um, Maybe we'll catch a pie at one of the other rest stops along the way. Turn right, then turn left. One of the features of most of the towns along the Karoo is the lovely churches. Krafranit also has a turn left. going against traffic. Krafranit also has a very beautiful church. So guys, we are above the Storms River. I think the Storms River is the start, if I'm not mistaken, is the start of the Otter Trail.
Okay guys, we here checked in at Tsutsikama um, To get to my forest hut I need to walk through the campsites So there's someone camping here Okay, that's forest hut 1 lovely view so I assume forest hut 2 is falling back here yeah this is forest hut 2 so I was directed wrong I need to move my car a little bit I was told 43 would be the entrance, but it's actually not 43. Look at this view. It's quite awesome. Chairs are full of water. Put the lights on. So here's the forest hut. I think it's like 900 rand per night. Little table, sleeps two, microwave, small fridge, some cutlery. Pretty neat and well decked out. So, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. I think I'll, I'll confirm the pricing on text um, and then there's the view out onto um, the river so which would this which river will this be I must check it out because we crossed the storms river coming in and the blow grants so I just have to check what river this is hopefully camp is also good for some birding. All right, I'll get my stuff and unpack and then I'm going to head down to the beach. Maybe I should leave the beach for tomorrow morning. Okay, so much easier path would just be to go from the evolution facilities where the designated parking is actually so here's the parking for photoshop one and two uh, i think i'll actually just pull in here to 42 for now So guys, I just went to the beach, sun is set now, um, so I just wanted to show you all basically Nature's Valley. So I was right down, sorry, I can get my seatbelt. So I was right down on the western end of um, uh, the town. Uh, this is uh, St. Michael Avenue that we're on now. So basically there's almost two main roads that run east to west and then a few roads that run between those two, perpendicular to those two. Um, so you can get across the two roads. And uh, it's about a I'd say about a two kilometer stretch from one one end of the town to the other end of the town. So you just go down St. Michael's Avenue 
and that's the beach road and go all the way to the end there's a little beach bar at the end that serves pizza and uh, refreshments and ice cream and stuff like that um, but lovely views on the beach itself uh, so they do say um, they have uh, African penguins that nest on the beach um, jackass penguins as they were formerly known as because of the sound they make which is a braying sound um, and uh, if you are walking your dog there's only certain sections on the beach that the dogs are allowed and uh, you can not take them to certain sections and on certain sections they have to be on a leash as well so yeah this is uh, sort of the extent of um, this is Valley Town quaint little town that um, I visited on I think three separate occasions uh, the one I just um, I, I, I was driving through uh, having gone down the, the um, garden route so it was getting it got in late and then out early the next morning um, there's a cat trying to jump off the fence um, and then uh, I've also uh, stayed here and done birding um, I've used uh, the face adrenaline um, sort of um, bed and breakfast that they run for the um, bungee jump as a, as a base so in 2017 I uh, came across and dunked my drone into the ocean just where I was taking photos now. So awesome memories, but uh, not my fault. The drone in question was a D DJI Spark and it uh, ejected its battery by itself while it was, you know, 120 meters in the air and like 50 meters out. So there's no chance of catching it. So yeah, we almost uh, out of the town now. So we're heading inland again. And that's sort of the full extent of Nature's Valley. So I'm going to head in back to the um, rest camp now and have supper it's going 25 past 7 now um, and then yeah right and early start tomorrow I think the gates open at 7 so can't get out very early but then uh, when we're allowed to we'll get out and start birding 